Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to configure an application load balancer with Lambda. Okay. For this demo, we are going to build a simple uh, HTML website and uh, that website will be having a landing page and a login and sign up button. Okay. So we'll uh, implement the login functionality in one Lambda and the sign up functionality in another Lambda. And uh, so when the user uh, tries to access its login endpoint, it will, uh, it should trigger this login Lambda. And when he tries to access this uh, sign up endpoint, it needs to trigger this sign up Lambda. So we will see how to route the traffic based on this uh, URL to different Lambdas. Okay. So uh, let's see how to configure this setup. So uh, firstly, I have all the three lambdas created. Uh, this are like, I mean, these lambdas are basically uh, have the simple HTML code uh, to return. It, uh, it's like a simple uh, web app and it will have two buttons called uh, login and uh, sign sign up. Okay. So uh, when clicked upon these buttons, it will uh, redirect to a different, like, I mean, slash login and slash sign up by URL. Okay. So this will be the default lambda. And I also have a login lambda. Uh, and similarly a sign up lambda so you can implement any uh, functionality that you want like i mean any logic that you want uh, in your lambdas so uh, just for demonstration i just have this simple lambdas okay so once uh, you have this lambdas created uh, let's go to the application i mean uh, ec2 console and create a load balancer so go to ec2 and click on load balancers here and click on create load balancer so let's click uh, create an uh, application load balancer create and uh, let's call this uh, demo alb okay you can call it anything okay internet facing and ipv4 is fine v4 uh, vpc is default actually uh, so you need to select uh, i mean any minimum two availability zones you can select more as well so i'm just going to select three availability zones uh, so that it is available okay and make sure that these subnets are uh, internet i mean internet facing ones and uh, i am going to attach a security group for this web app security group so this security group basically allows all that inbound and outbound traffic so make sure you create a security group and uh, allow all the inbound and outbound traffic okay from everywhere and here is where it gets interesting so listeners and routing so this uh, load balancer is going to listen on port 80 and whenever try someone hits this port uh, the default action is to forward the traffic to this default lambda so let's click on this create target group and our target type is lambda function target name let's call this as default uh, target group health checks i'm going to disable because if i enable the health checks it's going to keep on uh, triggering the lambda function and it will you may end up paying uh, money for that so next lambda function i'm going to create select as default lambda and click on create target group okay so now if you come here and select this default target group that you created so let's just create this load balancer for now so it says this demo alb is provisioning so let's wait for this uh, to get provisioned okay uh, so it's provisioned now let's try to access this application through alb so copy this dns name and paste it here okay so yeah we are able to access this uh, home page so basically this is the html uh, code which is there in the default lambda so when i click on login it appends a slash login to this url okay it attend it you know appended the sample i mean uh, slash login to this url but it nothing happened in here if you see so uh, that is because we have not configured what needs to happen when user tries to access uh, this url with slash login yet so let's go back to the load balancer and here in the listeners and roles select this listener and here click on add role okay so let's call this as login rule and click on next add condition let's select path and let's select this slash login confirm okay next and needs to forward to a target group let's create a target group for uh, login uh, lambda as well so lambda function login pg don't enable this health check next i'm going to select my login lambda okay and click on create group create target group and let's come back here and 
attach this. Let's give this priority one. One next, and click on create. Okay, so now you have a uh, login rule which says like when uh, user tries to access a slash login, forward the to this uh, login target group which has the login lambda. So now let's try to. So if you see now, since it's had the slash login, uh, it took us to this login page. So this login uh, logic is implemented in the login Lambda. Okay. So you can write whatever logic you have. Like, I mean, if you want to uh, fetch the uh, user data from a DynamoDB or something, you can implement that logic uh, in your uh, Lambda function. Okay. So uh, now let's create a similar uh, rule for sign up as well, because if we do a slash, Sign up here, nothing is happening. Okay, so let's click on add rule and let's call this as sign up rule. Next, add condition, choose path slash sign up, confirm. Next, let's create a target group for this as well. Lambda function. In a PG. Next, lambda. let me select the sign up lambda here. I click on create target group. Let me go back here and attach that target group. On next, I'm going to give this two. I click on create. Okay, so uh, if you see now in our listener, we have three rules. The default is like if there is uh, no other rule which is applying, it will forward the traffic to this default target group. Uh, if there is a slash sign up in the path, it will uh, forward to, to this target group which has a sign up lambda. And if there is a slash login uh, in the path, it will forward to this uh, target group which has a login lambda in it. Okay, so now let's actually uh, try from the beginning. So since we did not have anything in the path, it took us to the default. And if I click on login, actually I have a logic implemented to in the default Lambda. When someone clicks login, it appends a slash login. And uh, when this is appended, it will forward the traffic to this sign up. And if I try to access a sign up page, it will take me to the sign up page. Okay, so yeah, this is how you can configure your uh, load balancer and create different rules to forward the traffic based on the path uh, pattern. And uh, you can create different target groups for uh, different rules. Okay, so uh, yep, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did uh, find the video helpful, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.